We are live, guys. I'm saying, Mr. Blitz Tech. Revenue GS. Yeah, you want one further to the side of And it's that time of the week when you get slapped up with more and or discussion. Today we have episode seven. And before we do anything else in life, as always, as usual, if you haven't done so, or if this is your first time here, by all means, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, like, and then hit the comment section after you hear our thoughts on this latest episode. Also, if you don't know, Head over to patreon.com forward slash cyber nerds where you can watch the full watch along of Andor's season and other Star Wars content that resides there. So, you man, what are you saying? Hey, what's good fam? If you enjoyed this video, check out our TCN community where you will get private Discord access to join us in chatting about all things movies and trailers, participating in our debates and even submit your requests on which ones we watch. You also get access to our full movies, animes, and series reactions. So don't miss out. The link to join the community will be pinned comment. It was just a weird feeling to almost start all over again. Even though I know what I'm expecting mm. from these three episode arcs. Like, it, for me, it's like a very slow episode. They're building up, obviously, just a new... What Stage. Was, yeah. After of, the, yeah, the madness the that events that ensued. Happened. But... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a mere episode for me, to be honest. And I'm actually starting to feel Andor himself in his own seat, like his own show, it's just a vehicle rather than being an actual like, like present force. character. Yeah, I really like that you said that, you know, because I, I, I feel it's not I, it's not like I feel like that, but it's always like this show when it says Andor and the Rebel logo comes up. That's always bugged me. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, he is a rebel, yeah. But yeah. like, it just doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't, I feel like the show should have been called something else and it should be exactly the same. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's more about like the rebels, against, like, the, like rebels against the empire mm -hmm. with Andor being the driving force. But mm -hmm. then I understand they've got to link it back to something that people know, mm -hmm. Andor, Rogue One, so I'm not mad at them. But you saying that makes me think of the logo in general because I'm like, it says Andor, but it's the Rebel logo. And I'm like, yeah, Andor is a rebel, but he isn't the rebellion. Yeah, I'm saying. Exactly, so, yeah. But one of the things I do like about this episode, I'm with you, like, even no matter how gassed man was for the last episode and what that free arc was, I think it's, it's really tough, like, resetting all over again every time. But at the same time, it's like, because of that juice that they've given me, I can't be mad at this. Also, I think there's enough, like, nuggets, elements set up here for me to be like, nah, uh, uh, I'm ready to see <laughs> where we go from here. I exactly like that, man. So, yeah, man, I'm cool. And I, and I really like one of the things they did in this in terms of Andor, the character, setting up, which I believe, and I hope it turns out to pay off this way, is... His emotional crutch in why he's really going to end up being in the rebellion. Because obviously at the midpoint, episode six, he completes a job as a member of a rebel unit for money. Now, this episode comes in heavy with his emotional connection to his mom. What's going on with his, uh, what happened with his dad. And like, I'm like, raw. If his dad got wrongfully killed by the Empire, which happens, but his mum is now in a situation where she's not willing to leave where she's at because she's like, yo, we're being occupied. There's no way I can get away from it. And she wants to die for the cause anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, she's, she's there for that. So if her having to take an L is the thing that switches the thing for Andor to be like, I've actually been in this beef since I was six, unwillingly, but whenever the events of the events happen, this is the day that I decide I'm actually part of this rebellion rebellion. I, I, I feel like they put a lot of that DNA into this episode. Now, it was slow, mm. but there was that in it. That's, that's, the, that's what I'm taking away from it, realistically. Yeah, yeah. Like, both of you guys are not, are not wrong at all. Like, because there's, it's like half, half of this episode is like, reset button, we got to change everything because of what's happened in 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 the previous episode so now we've got to set set it up we've obviously we've seen in the meetings everybody gets pulled in you know such and such happened shouldn't have happened 
you see all the generals coming through and then obviously Andor just bus in case is back home talking to to his people and so we kind of get that little that little reset that's going to put us on this new path of what's happening and then the second half which is what intrigued me the most where it's like okay now we're starting to move obviously Andor got paid missions done hey we're all going to Miami and have a great time well, obviously him not understanding and not even being aware of of the mission he just completed just set in motion all these things like the, the empire just ramped up everything like anything you do we're doubling down on it do you know what i mean like if you do a pay crime you're going from six months to a year obviously him just doing nothing get six years so just stuff like that and obviously seeing um Moff, Mon, Mon, Moffa? Mon Moffa. With, with, with the guy who hired um, Andor as well, her going back and forth with him. And I'm not sure. Obviously, he's like to her, yo, you knew what you was signed up for. Nah, she's, she's on a, she's on a Polit strict political team. Yeah. And he's on a, nah, this is how rebellions have to run mm. things. So that's, I think that's where their miscommunication is, where she's a little bit in the overhead. But... Even in this episode, it's funny because in the reaction, it sounds like, yo, it's her episode. I'm like, bruv, I've got no interest in anything she I would does. I hope so. At all, <laughs> bruv. Like, like her, her whole family dynamic and what she's trying to do, bruv, like, I just don't. Like, they've, like it's just, it's like mind numbing to me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, not here for it at all, man. But I think one of the things I did just from, for me, the episode started when the Imperials were in the room. And then Every they have, time. And they, they have that back and forth. When, like, <laughs> I just, I, I love that. And, and, and I, I was, I want them to translate the energy there into more of the conversations that are happening between other people. And I don't know if it's just, like, the actors in that scene, the three of those, because mm. that general, yeah, the way he makes these lot beef each other mm -hmm. is, is so beautiful. And it's like, the Mon Mothra scene with the guy who the rebellion lead well I don't know the rebel, rebellion leader but like the, the collector mm. I feel like that conversation could have had the same energy mm. and the conversation with Mon Mothra and our old school friend was trying to have the same energy but they just don't hit as hard as the imperial thing so for me it's like when that 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 scene happened from there forward I was plugged into the episode other than that like I was just like not really interested and in terms of the collecting bit as well, I'm very interested in the collector sending his assistant to go meet with the girl who was on a mission mm -hmm. um, with Andor and the mission now being we have to take out Andor because he's a loose end. And he's a loose end, why? Because he's not part of the rebellion. Mm -hmm. And I love that, do you know what I'm saying? So I want to see how that comes to a head later on as well. They, they, they put a hit on him, right? Yeah, yeah they, they, they told they put, her to go, get to go get him. Obviously him now being imprisoned, I want to see how that's going to translate. I, I, I'm excited to see him in prison because I feel like, like even they just flashed a K2, a, a couple K2 droids in this. Mm -hmm. I thought that was sick, but I want to see if they actually show that how that relationship actually starts because I can imagine him overriding or someone overriding one of those um, K2 droids mm. to help him escape this six-year bid that man's about to do. Unless we're getting a six-year time jump, which I wouldn't be mad at either. So, and I, Sam, it came across my mind. Right, the reason why I'm... Uh, so I know, I know, I know. The reason why I don't think it would be crazy yet <laughs> is because they just put this guy in here, or maybe Game of Thrones has just tapped my mind. Uh, they <laughs> this just is put, as well. They've just, put, they've just put this guy in this new job, yeah? yeah? And I would like him to be here and, like, actually be bored. Not just day one, oh, I've got a new job, this ain't it for me, I've got a bus case, but him actually try to be in this thing that his mum wants him to be in and him maybe escalate his way up into mm. an actual imperial yeah. role or something like that. But even if they don't do that, like, uh, we'll, now see, he, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, because even now, it feels like he's been wasted. Like, I think for the past two or three episodes, man's just been shelved. Yeah, he's we like, have seen last, three, last yeah. three episodes, he's been icy. And it's been weird because obviously from the first three episodes, he seemed like a pretty legit character. So obviously we know he's here for the long run. We don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of episodes, but it's like... I, I, I want more from this guy. Obviously, for me, he's like one of the most exciting characters. Like I said, the, the place that they placed him now is like, is he going to do... Because he's always doing stuff that is not the... the he's almost like a rule breaker, basically. Yeah, yeah. Man's, he's been given a suit. I tailored it to look like this. 
Mum's always knocking him down. Like, oh, you're doing that stuff to just get attention. This, but for me, I don't believe that from him. Mm. I feel like if he feels like something's better, he's going to change it for the better. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I feel like he's going to be in that place, maybe doing what the woman's doing with the Imperials. And then again, someone notices him, like, oh, yeah, that's a way better way. See, so I hope that kind of happens, but... One of the things I like about what you said is that in terms of his character, him and even the, uh, the, Imperial, the Imperial General who just got a promotion, they've got the exact same energy in terms of yeah. like, I'm doing what needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Whether I have to break the rules or not, I'm just... Do- like, in their minds, they're just doing what's right. Yeah. And I love that because in a show like this, when we're dealing with, like, competing ideologies and competing ideologies that are built into structured ideologies mm. from other people, bro, that there is is crucial to, like, having legit conflict. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like... That general, she's she's an imperial, but we wouldn't. You'd never call her bad. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because she always does the right thing. You're more so called the other one mm-hmm. who's trying to hold her back, bad. Mm-hmm. Even though he's not necessarily doing anything wrong, he's just following the rules. Mm-hmm. But you know what happens when you're a soldier that just follows the rules? Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And he has that same energy as well. So I really like the parallel between them mm-hmm. and also Andor, who's on the other side of this. Like, bro, I just wanna. I want to get away. Mm. I just want to run away. I don't care. I'm not involved. Like, it's mad, bro. I just want to be in Miami and live it up, really. That's it. <laughs> what are you man rating this episode? <sighs> it's a tough one, but I'm going to give it like a 2.5. Like, it's got good bits, it's got bad bits, but like, this, the re- it's almost like the time jumps. In the house. <laughs> 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 just the reason. Because I know at the end of this, it's going to be absolutely fire again. I, like, I don't deny it, but these starts are mad. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. I'm right there with you, man. 2.2. Like, for all the good, there's an equal amount of bad. Do you know what I'm saying? So I can't go higher than 2.5, man. And I'm going to absolutely agree with you, man. 2.5 for me, definitely from the half of the... the, My my interest really peaked more was from the halfway through the episode, you know, all the discussions that was going back and forth. And obviously seeing the repercussions as well of, like, you know, the new rules being input. Do you know Mm. what I'm saying? Because they mentioned very early stage of, of the episode, but then seeing at the end, Ando actually being the one like getting caught up in it, mm. when he's at the first time he's actually not doing anything, he's just being a civilian, mm. he's being a tourist, you get caught. And even seeing the, the, the energy that the, 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 the sand, sand trooper, was that a sand trooper that was there? The, the, the one in the brown thing, just like pretty much antagonizing, man. Do you know what I mean? Like he wasn't doing anything. Oh, you running? Were you doing bro, this? Were you he there? looks guilty, like, man. Yeah, obviously, because he was, he was looking around. No, he... Bro, <laughs> the thing is, bro, someone... Bro, Andor's... One, he is guilty. Yeah. Second thing, he looks guilty. <laughs> Thirdly, he's just a... Bro, he's got rebel energy, bro. And, it, and this is what I like about that. It's because, bro, Andor, no matter where you go yeah, and deny. what you do... Bro, yeah, if they're gonna come and get you, fam. Mm. You don't have to be committed. Do you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm, bro? Mm-hmm. It happened to you in a bar when you're just trying to mind your business and look for your sister, and it's happened to you, bro. That's your life, bro. No, that's, like, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just what it is. Yeah. And he, it's mad because he hasn't understood or even embraced it yet, mm, bro. Like, mm. and this is what I'm saying. Like, I can't wait that for him, he's gonna need emotional ties. Like, he's gonna have to lose more people before he is like. Okay, yeah. I'm in. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm actually fighting for this. I'm not yeah. every day money and things, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> even back home, like everybody like turned their back on him. Even the girl was saying, "Yo, everybody blames you mm. for what happened here." And after he just paid his damn bounce. But that is that from us this week on Andor. Do let us know your thoughts and remember that you can always watch the full watch along at patreon.com forward slash the cybernerds. Thank you for joining us. I'm Raven your GS. Sam, Mr. Blitzer, J1 for the Cybernerds. And we'll see you next time. Peace.